So Digital Wizards was set up by a group of experienced primary school teachers who each share a passion for teaching, leading and providing CPD to schools in computing. So the training for us has been through the cluster of schools that we work with, um, which I think will be it has been really beneficial in that we've also teamed up with other schools and that Digital Wizards have been happy to do that for us. Um, and we've had our each of our class teachers work with other class teachers uh, of a similar age and phase um, and work with the Digital Wizards team on looking at how they can add enhancements to teaching and learning of the computing curriculum and the wider curriculum as well. So having Digital Wizards and Paul um, in school with the curriculum has just, it's enabled staff to actually know what the curriculum entails and because Paul is the expert and he's had training and now he's um, qualified in his computing subject, the teachers actually know the language, the techniques, resources to use that's going to make sure the whole of the curriculum is covered from reception all the way up to year six. It's just been great. I wanted to work with Digital Wizards because I know that the computing curriculum requires expertise. We haven't got that expertise. Our staff um, dip in and out of the computing curriculum according to where they feel comfortable at teaching and that's where a lot of schools are at because it's such a, a technical area of, of learning. And so Digital Wizards provided that expertise and I knew that I didn't have to worry about um, us training ourselves. We had somebody coming in with the expertise to, to upskill us all. I think the key thing for us was having staff having opportunities to explore and use the equipment. Um, the curriculum expectations are quite demanding, um, so A, it was how can we meet the demands of the curriculum, a skills audit about how well the staff actually understand what those um, skills are, and then opportunities to use, explore, trial those resources themselves. That was the first thing. Equally, it's then making sure that there is progression. We wanted progression, so what we wanted to see was what would those skills look like in year one and how could we build on those through to year six and then into high school year seven, year eight. They were some of the key things. The other thing for us was really making sure that we're buying the right equipment. We know that we've got to invest some money in, in resources, so it was really making sure we had the opportunity to buy the right kit and that it would be used and would be used um, appropriately um, with the children to enhance their learning experiences. I think on teachers, uh, the impact has been really tangible in that they've got much more confidence to deliver the wider aspects of the computing curriculum. Uh, I think the staff are really enjoying delivering computing lessons. They're also thinking about how they can use some of the things that they've done in the training with Digital Wizards across other aspects of the curriculum. Um, and the children as learners are having really good fun because they're being introduced to new experiences that perhaps they haven't had previously here at school. Already staff are really enthused, they're feeling much more confident, much more skilled. Um, it's early, early stages at this point with the children, but we're embarking on a, at least a year, probably two years of using Digital Wizards so that we can then set some gap tasks and um, our curriculum, our computing lead can then liaise with Digital Wizards on monitoring of that, the impact of the training and looking at how that improves children's outcomes as well. I think the training from Digital Wizards has, has generally raised the profile of computing across the school. So it's upskilled the staff so that they feel a lot more confident at delivering aspects of the computing curriculum. Um, and it's also raised the profile with the children. It's an area of the curriculum which if you get it right, children are really enthused and engaged by. It. And you can see that in terms of the lessons and the outcomes and the impact. So as a school, we, we just feel that computing has, has become more at the forefront of what we're doing and is not on the back burner and being left. Well, the impact that Paul and Digital Wizards have had on our school has been brilliant. Um, having an expert, um, computing expert in our school has just been great for staff morale, confidence of the staff and children. It's just been brilliant because he has got such a passion for his subject and it shows in his lessons and when he's giving advice and guidance to teachers. Um, it's just mirrored when the children work, when the teachers work. 
I would definitely recommend the training. I think um, the opportunity to create a bespoke program, they've got current practitioners who are actually still doing the work in schools, they're still teaching, so it's current, um, it's relevant, they live, they have all the lived experiences that other teachers have around how do I make it, um, how do I match to the needs of all pupils, how do I resource it effectively, how do I make it work in what is already a demanding curriculum. Um, that bit for me I think is one of the strengths. Equally, when I first met with Digital Wizards, the opportunity to create a bespoke programme to what your school needs I think is another strength as well. So I would definitely recommend them. Yeah, I'd absolutely recommend Digital Wizards. Uh, it's a really personalised service. Um, I think it's high quality training. Um, it's coming from uh, a, an educational point of view as well. You know, the Digital Wizards team, their background is education. They're teachers, they understand the demands on the day-to-day -day curriculum, but they're offering really sensible, really focused solutions.